coming to you live from the fish room and we are in the process of doing water changes right now I do have some problems with my 29 gallon with my mutt guppies in it and I um, have been adding salt and leaving the temperature probably about 82 degrees so today I'm going to actually take some of the decor out when I do a water change and I'm going to do a good gravel vac in the substrate and I'm also going to bump the heater up two more degrees. I'm going to try to put this old filter back on that uh, to add filtration and um, maybe clip a few new plants. Man, those crypts are growing like crazy. And I've got some more Eco Complete down here, so I'm thinking about planting some more crypts and putting them in uh, some bare bottom aquariums to see how they grow. This is Susan for SLC Aquatics. Hashtag Fish Fan Mom. Love you. Okay, I think I'm going to bring the water level down to about 50%, which would be, you know, about right in here. So a little bit more water out. And if you see, my Anubias is blooming. My Anubias is blooming again. And um, this is some vows that I got from Green Oasis Farms about three years ago. You know it was getting established and kind of slow on the go there and um, then all of a sudden like two years down the road it was so long across the top that I decided hmm I'll just trim them you know and cut the ends off that's when all of this new growth right here started popping up so the mother plant is in the back back here and it shot roots under the substrate to the front of the glass. So today I'm going to attempt to clip some of these with roots and replant them where I want them in the back. I think I'm gonna move the uh, Amazon sword to the back corner like that one and give it more of a balance all these little plants right here are java java ferns that need to be actually planted on things because uh, they have a rhizome channel and uh, anyway let me get busy i have my aquascape scissors and i have my tweezers and i'm going to start pulling it up to see what's there we go look at that got another new one coming up nice so time to cut And I don't know if you see this or not, but the stem, the runner that connects plant to plant, I go ahead and trim that off. And some people would actually trim the roots a little bit. But I think I'm going to leave these roots. Now, where do I want to put them? I said I was going to move this plant to the back corner. So, I have I have 
one, two, three, and four. And since this one is such a new shoot, I'm going to leave it connected to its mother plant now. Uh, so that's four plants. I'm going to have to disturb my own sword. And let's move the other. And these roots I will trim. Sometimes you might want to um, look for any old growth. This one just looks good. I guess I can trim off some of these leaves that have holes in them. I think they actually will benefit from a trim. No, you don't have to take your plants out of the water to do this. It's better not to disturb the roots because it'll have to get reestablished. So hopefully I have not damaged my Amazon sword and I will trim off these old leaves. So I want to kind of put her down. in that, uh, that corner right here. And I think she's gonna look good there. Got lots of uh, new sprigs of java ferns. This is another sword that I'm just going to uh, trim it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and bring it up. This one has a lot of leaves with holes in it, but I'm going to take the oldest ones off. The ones that are kind of uh, yellowing. And yes, I'm new at propagating plants. So if I'm doing anything wrong, it does not hurt my feelings to tell me I should have done this or I should have done that. And that way I will learn from those more experienced. Even though I've had plants for um, going on four years now, I'm gonna trim that root just a little bit. They say don't trim the, the main root mother, you know, the, the main feeder root, but that's going to be here, and I'm going to replant it. Okay, where do I want, I think I want to put a couple of these valves. Back here. Sometimes you can do it better with fingers, so you do both.
All right, this tank is looking so much better. Even those that had ick on the ick is gone. Um, I just don't think there was enough filtration. I uh, propagated some crypts, took out an Anubius, added that uh, Whisper thir EX30 on the back. I still have the sponge filter and the floating biomedia filter going. I did a good substrate vacuum, gravel vac, whatever. And I trimmed some dead leaves or bad leaves off of the Anubias. And yes, I put it in backwards. So maybe it will grow this away. <laughs> this 55 looks great. Uh, it looks a little empty. Um, but I took the artificial sword out. I uh, propagated some valves and I did replant one. Anyway, got to get back to the water change. These first two have been done, 50%, working on number three. This one's been done, uh, 50%. This one was 80%. This one probably will not get a water change today. Uh, I'll check on it. I might do a little top off. Okay, we're almost at 50%.